Hello, welcome to the flow. I'm really excited today about the flow. This one is a word that is near and dear to my heart. It's about having faith and depending on God because God always supplies our needs according to his riches and glory. Like whatever you need or ask for, God will supply it or has already supplied it for you. You know, you just need to search or look or consider what God has done for you. But I want to start this word out today because God blessed me with it. And um, I start out with a question to God about the Bible scripture where he says the uh, heaven is my home and earth is my footstool. And I'm like, well, how is God in two places at once? You know, when I read a Bible scripture or a parable, I be thinking like, how are you or just ask God questions to search him out and see what he meant by that. And it's very like, it's very pre uh, profound what God is saying in this when he says heaven is my home and earth is my footstool, how he's in two places at once. He He's his mind. He's telling us that his spirit and his body and everything about him is in heaven. But with earth being his footstool, his physical body stands there. His movement is here on earth, but spiritually is heaven. The same being heavenly minded, but physically here on earth. And that's the realm in which we're in in the natural and spiritual state and that's what God is telling he's telling us how to think while we're here on earth and that he is with us whether we're here on earth or in heaven with him and that was a beautiful saying because it shows us that every supply that we need has spiritually been given to us and in order for God to move physically we must have faith to do it and one of the bible scriptures that showed me that it was the scripture where the fish is in the mouth and Jesus said I mean the coin is in the fish's mouth and Jesus sent Peter to go get it. It's it, it's here because they're on this trip and they're to Capernaum and and they go in this house. And I'm like, if you guys were on a journey on a trip, how are you in the house? So there they're supplied in this house. And and the uh taxpayers or tax collectors are asking Peter, don't your teacher pay taxes? And Peter's like, yeah, sure. He's just answering out of the side of his neck. Like, yeah, the teacher does pay taxes. And Jesus, he goes into the house and Jesus is there and he pre knows what Peter is about to ask. So Peter doesn't ask it. And Jesus asked him like, you know, who pays taxes, the children of the tax collect, the children of kings or the children or the strangers. And Peter says, of course, the strangers. And Jesus tells them, you know, correct, so that they don't sin, go get a coin out of the fish's mouth. And what I'm trying to say in this instance is, hold on one moment. Yeah. Spaghetti in day. Okay, thank you. What I'm trying to say in this instance is that even though the coin is in the fish's mouth, the food has already been supp supplied. What God is saying in this instance, or Jesus, he's saying that whatever you need is already there along with what you need. So Peter needed the coin for the tax collectors, but it was also in his food. And Jesus was sitting in the house and they were on the journey. So what I'm saying is whatever it is that you need or you're asking for or whatever you're standing in the need for, God has already supplied your need. That's what the flow is. Flow in the Holy Ghost. Whatever you need in life, whatever you ask for, God already has supplied it for you. You know, we we oftentimes don't consider prayer as a, a strong weapon or a strong force or a necessity or you know, in, in, in restance of being equal to what is here on earth in regards to money. You know what I'm saying? What God is supplying you in prayer is the, the weapon and the option. It says that you can move mountains. You have the option to move the mountain from here to there. And it says once you do that, everything else is impossible. That means because it was placed there and you were capable of moving it, now you're capable of moving everything else on earth. If you can move earth, <laughs> you're going to say earth is there and the mountain is there on earth. And if you can move earth, then you definitely can move anything else. So God is saying, whatever you ask and stand in the need of a prayer. And if you can move this mountain and you have enough faith to do it, then you have enough faith to do anything else. And all things are impossible thereafter. And that's what Jesus was trying to show Peter when he sent him to go get the coin out of the fish's mouth. The fact that he threw his line out there to catch it is the mere fact that he caught it. And that's what occurred. The first fish he was able to hook and had the coin. He didn't have to stand out there and continuously hooking fish because he had faith enough and believed in the word 
word that Jesus was saying. Also, they only pay taxes because the tax collectors of what they might have done if they did not pay taxes. But Jesus didn't necessarily have to pay taxes because, again, that wasn't his town. They were just testing him to say, like, don't you pay taxes? I mean, you're here. God is here. Earth is his footstool. But heaven is his home. So he's able to call on that fish and that coin and bring it to us. So I just wanted to let somebody know that, that God will supply all your needs according to his riches and glory. You know, we continuously ask God and he supplies all our needs. Now, just to open up the Bible and give you guys, you know, this this powerful push to to seek God in faith, because in order to pray for what you need, you have to believe what you you have to believe what you pray for is going to come and going to exist. But if you don't believe, you have to believe it in order to receive it. Because if you don't, if you pray for it and you don't believe it, how can it come? Because it's active, it's activated by your faith. You know, it says um, faith without works is dead. So if you don't believe, believe is is like when you have faith and then when you believe that's a working in it. Sometimes your believing in your faith requires you to work it out. You know, like Peter, he had to actually go get the coin out of the fish's mouth. So if you pray for it, but Peter didn't have to pray for it. But if you pray for it, there's a work that might have to be done in order to receive what you pray for. And, you know, sometimes you have to receive that from God or just know yourself, like just stepping out on faith. But faith without works is dead. So in order to receive what God has supplied you already spiritually in the supernatural stance, we have to do something here on earth. That's why that scripture that says if you have enough faith faith to move mountains, you know, from here to there, you also have to do it through praying and fasting. Praying is praying. Fasting is act the actual work of what you're doing. The, the faith without works is dead. So if you fast, you can also see God move in that possibility of having the supernatural strength of nutrients of fasting and, and being able to hear from God and just seek God in fasting. That's a whole nother like realm of God and flow of God in the Holy Ghost of just like praying, fasting and having enough faith to do um, supernatural things with the faith of God. And and you see that a lot in the Bible where people were just going and moving in the faith and the miracles of God, especially Jesus when he was walking with his disciples, he was teaching them along the way, teaching them the way of God and the hand of God and how God moves. Because if you don't know how God moves, it's impossible to move with him in the manner in which he moves. That's why God te takes us on this after salvation. He takes us on this teaching lesson of like, how to know his ways, how to know his heart and how he thinks and how he how he changes things not the way we think because we think from a, a natural realm you know the tax collectors were thinking in a realm of like he said pay caesar what caesar give caesar his money his face is on the money give caesar his money back but give god what's god's what god's is 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 you your spiritual your spiritual walk with him your relationship with him and that's what god is focused on on you as a being it says even the hairs of your head are numbered and he cares about those because god cares cares about every strategic and small part of us no matter what it is and we think that sometimes we don't think that God thinks about those things but God does and he thinks about them so much to 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 help us in life to continue on our journey with him but in regards to that he teaches us along the way to have his heart to have his way to understand and know who he is and how he treats us that's all I wanted to say today about faith um, about God supplying your need and knowing that he is capable to do exceedingly abundantly above all we could think or ask, you know? So uh, the flow, much love, be blessed.